This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. So Cody, just overall, how would you recap your day? First time getting the start and obviously it went pretty well for you. Um, yeah, I felt good today. Um, I was just going to come out and give our team a chance to win. Uh, but it really comes down to just executing pitches. And so that's what I was doing, just trying to take it one pitch at a time. And I got the results I did. Was there was there a specific moment in the game where you really settled in? Because it seemed like you kind of found a groove in your you know third through sixth innings. Was there a moment where you, you kind of locked in? Yeah, my second inning, I didn't think I was uh, making pitches the way I should have. Um, and I don't know what it was. Maybe, maybe after I came out uh, into the third for the warm-up pitches, I don't know what it was, but something clicked, and I was like, all right, it's go time. So, Cody, when did you uh, find out when that you, that you were going to start, and how did you how did you react uh, to the TBA on Sunday? Um, I found out I was going to start yesterday after the game. Um, so, I mean, I was ready to go out of the bullpen Friday and Saturday. Um, but, yeah, whenever they told me I was starting, I was excited about it. Um, you know, I think if you ask every pitcher in the locker room, everybody wants to be a starter, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, my job is just to pitch, and I don't get to decide where I, when I throw. So, And then, Jared, you had a 470-foot home run today. Uh, you ever hit a ball that far? No, I don't think so. I think uh, I definitely got every piece of that, that baseball right there. So it was, uh, it was fun. Cody, is it, is it lost on you that your last start was against Arkansas, at least the Division One SEC level? I didn't really think about that. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I was honestly, honestly coming uh, into this game, I knew that, that that was my only like other start that was big. Um, and so I was thinking about that. I actually watched the highlights of that game the other night. And I was like, man, I've gotten so much better since then. So I should be able to handle these guys. I mean, that was 22 months ago. I know you pitched last season too, but but just in terms of pitching in front of a lot of people, that I wonder how exciting that was for you. Oh, it was it was really exciting, um, especially hearing my dad yell from the stands too. That was kind of cool, um, especially when there's so many people there. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm supposed to be able to thrive in those environments, so that's what I got to do. Yeah, you know, I hear pitchers sometimes say they feel more comfortable as a starter than they do as a reliever or vice versa, just due to the different, you know, circumstances that lead up to coming into the games. You you pitched well as a starter today. I mean, do you have a preference on on which one you do? You know, I don't I don't have a preference. Um, I'll throw whenever they tell me. Uh that's just part of my mentality. I gotta be ready to go whenever. So that's just the way I'm taking it from here on out. Do you feel any pressure on you with uh, two six inning starts from the the guys Friday and Saturday today? I didn't even realize that honestly, so I didn't really feel any pressure from it. But they have our starters all year have laid a pretty good foundation and and done the right things whenever they've been out there. So honestly, I, that was that was what I was thinking. Just follow up on on what these guys did. Jared, it seemed like the Auburn dugout had a lot to say after your home run. What was? Do you have any insight on what was going on there? Or what they were upset about? Or yeah, so we got we always. Or I guess I got a warning for our team on, with the the bat flip. Um, I don't know exactly what they were saying. Couldn't hear them. Um, it it is what it is. Jared, with the way you guys are swinging it, you know, thirteen wins in a row. Like how how comfortable do you guys feel as a lineup? You know, as this homestand approaches it at its end. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people are swinging it well. They're seeing it really well. Um, you know, our offense does a really great job of of taking walks when they're presented and, uh, you know, putting good swings on it, whether we're in a leverage count or we're or battling with two strikes. So, um, you know, it's been good. We've been able, able to play it a lot of runs, and uh, I think we've we've done a tremendous job here recently. The three-run hit was really the key to this series. Brady had one Friday. Kendall had one yesterday. You had one today. Otherwise, you know, it's kind of a, a pretty closely played series. I just wonder what you think about those hits. And then, you know, yours and Kendall's came in, in two out situations and, and how big those felt to the, to the, maybe the way the game turned out. Yeah. Yeah. Those are uh, the three swings that you brought up. Um, you know, obviously someone's trying to come through um, big and, um, I told Kendall that he he had the swing of the game yesterday, and uh, you know it feels good to to get 
get that swing and, and someone's got to step up and get it done. And sometimes I remember like Kendall's swing. I'm pretty sure I uh, had struck out, Jay struck out, and then he he came in. So that's, that's part of trusting your teammate. You know, obviously you want to get the job done, but if you can't, you know, we get a lot of trust up and down the lineup um, to just, just know that they're going to get the job done. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.